So the first nail polish color I'm going to be using is this one by Santi. This one's called Light Nude and I'm going to be applying this one over my thumbnail, my pointer fingernail and my pinky fingernail. So I'm just going to be applying two coats of this nail polish. Now I'm going in with the second coat and this is just a very transparent light color. It's beautiful. It's just perfect for what I want for this design. The next nail polish color I'm going to be using is this beautiful sage green. It's by Sassy Chic and it's got the number of 901. So I'm just going to be applying it over my entire ring finger now. Now for my middle fingernail, I'm going to be using this green one by Sally Hansen and I've had this one for years. And it's just one of my favorite green nail polish colors. This one's called Green with Envy. So I'm just going to be applying this one over my middle fingernail. So that's the background I have for each of the fingernails. Now I'm going to start with my middle fingernail because that one's super easy. Actually they're all easy but I'm just going to get the middle one out of the way. Um, I'm going to be placing three crystals, three green ones over the bottom part of the fingernail. For my ring fingernail I'm going to be applying this green glitter polish by China Glaze. This one's called He's Going in Circles. So I'm just going to go over on top of my fingernail and apply this nail polish. Next I'm going to be using this beautiful green glitter polish by Simple Colors. It's called Green Ocean and I'll be applying it over the rest of my fingernail. So I'm going to begin by applying this polish over the tips of my fingernail and bringing it down little by little but not so low down over the cuticle area. I'm going to allow this coat to dry then I'll go in with a second coat. While my coat's dry, I'm going to go into my ring fingernail and apply a little bit to that fingernail as well. Now I'm going in a second time and allow that to dry completely. Now for your ring finger now you can basically go in and add any art design you'd like. I decided on white simple flowers and I'm going to be using this acrylic paint in the color white by Apple Barrel. This is the brush brand and size I'll be using to paint my flowers and this is what the tip looks like. So I'm going to begin by painting a five petal flower and I want each of my flower petals to be in an almond shape. Long little flower petals. And I'll be going around painting five of them, leaving a space in the center so that I can add green crystals at the end. I'll be adding one peeking over this area. Now I'm just adding like tiny, tinier little flowers, little flower petal shapes, exactly the same except um, smaller. So we won't be adding crystals to these. Now I'll just be adding top coat to the center of the two bigger flowers. And I'm going to be placing a dark green crystal in the center. To finish off, I'll just be applying one coat of the Sesh V. 
Sesh V tends to shrink up on me over the cuticle area if I apply more than one coat. Even one coat, it's gonna shrink up, but not as much as if I add more. So basically, when I use the Sesh V, I only apply the one coat, and for the rest of the week, I use a different top coat. And I also apply it on top of the crystals. 